Hello all. Um, a while back I made a video about the Arch Linux rollback machine and it's the project uh, is no longer maintained and I noted that in the video which is unfortunate but it looks like it's making just making a comeback. Um, we look at the bottom here. Uh, in the past the original ARM Arch Linux rollback machine was closed on uh, 2013 August um, 18 and it says a new one is hosted on this site however um, I looked at the uh, forums Arch Linux forums and I found this mirror here I'll put this in the description which is here and there's a couple of GNOME applications that um, I like the older versions of so I went down went down to extra here and then go to the OS and sometimes it takes a while to load and once it loads up uh, I'm using Firefox and type as a search so I searching for gnome dash system monitor sorry. and also it was like a version 2 and it's a package you just download it. it's not very big 1.8 megabytes and then I know as well gnome terminal version 2 and it's uh, 1.2 megabytes. So uh, wherever you download it to, uh, in my case downloads, there's two packages here. So you, you can uh, navigate to your downloads folder, or uh, and if you have open terminal here, you can do that. And just drag, say, GNOME system monitor into the uh, terminal. It gives you the path. Press the home key and do a sudo pacman and dash capital I'm um, dash capital U and a space and I've already installed it so it would say reinstalling but I'm gonna cancel out of that of course and you do the same thing for GNOME terminal so uh, system monitor uh, we get the old uh, system monitor back um, with the uh, system information and that's one thing uh, I don't know I just seem to like this one better uh, I haven't tested out too much to see if there's any issues but it seems to be working fine and uh, the newer ones with compiz if you have a compiz turned on they look really strange but this one uh, works just fine and then uh, I made a shortcut for GNOME terminal and about GNOME Terminal 2.32.1 and you can edit your profile pre preferences and background and I like to have a bit of a transparent background as you can see here the newer ones that that's been taken out and just more options with the colors and general uh, options and stuff so uh, I'll do a little more looking into the uh, the rollback machine itself and see what uh, else I can come up with but uh, if you, if you want to try and look for some older packages that were the newer ones you don't like as much for some reason uh, you can try that uh, one link that I found it's an FTP site and uh, maybe you can find some other ones as well oh and one more thing I should mention is uh, you're gonna have to edit your um, Pac-Man uh, config file, so uh, sudo, and like I use leafpad, etsy pacman dot config, conf, and I'll go down, scroll down to package, ignore package equals, and I put in here gnome system monitor, and ignore package gnome terminal. Now if you decide you want to go back, you just uh, comment one of these out or just delete this line and then do a pacman update so for example sudo pacman dash s y u you see here warning system monitor ignore package upgrade and you see the difference and the same thing with the gnome terminal so there's nothing to do so make sure you put that uh, ignore package in there or it will upgrade to the latest one. 
And if you do, just don't comment that in the Pac-Man config, config file. Okay, so that should do it for this one. And thanks so much for watching. We'll talk to you soon. And bye for now.